Today on Earth Focus, smart homes, smart communities. Japan moves towards energy self-sufficiency. Constantino de Miguel reports, coming up on Earth Focus. It happened in March 2011. An earthquake followed by a tsunami hit the Fukushima nuclear plant in northeastern Japan. The worst atomic disaster after Chernobyl caused a meltdown in three reactors and a release of radioactive materials. In the aftermath of Fukushima, the Japanese government decided shutting down over 50 nuclear reactors operated in the country and promised to cut Japan's reliance on nuclear energy. To do that, Tokyo approved legislation promoting long-term production of renewable energies while committing to substantial reductions in greenhouse gases. The government is requiring that utilities buy as much green energy as companies can produce for the electric grid over the next 20 years. Utilities have to pay a premium price, therefore providing a great incentive to get into the self-sufficiency energy business. As a result, all major Japanese companies are now investing in alternative energies. Um, after the Fukushima disaster in Japan, we've been uh, trying to reduce our dependence on nuclear energy and at the same time expand the use of renewable energy. And the Japanese government implemented a feed-in tariff system last year in July, where the utilities um, buy renewable energy for example, solar power or uh, uh, wind power. And uh, because of that system, there has been a lot of demand for solar power. And at Kyocera, uh, we've been expanding our shipments of uh, solar panels for especially utility scale and commercial application. This is the Kagoshima Nanatsujima Mega Solar Power Plant. It's, um, we're going to start operation next month and it's 70 megawatts, one of the largest utility scale solar plants in Japan. And uh, originally Kyocera was only uh, involved in the manufacturing of solar panels, but we've been um, expanding our businesses and for this uh, power plant, we're actually going to own, uh, operate uh, the plant as well. The efficiency is um, definitely getting higher compared to when we first started our solar business, which was actually in 1975. We started R&D after the oil shock. Uh, Kyocera was sure that solar energy would be um, necessary in the future, so we continued R&D. And this is the result that we have today, about 40 years of experience. Japan wants to increase its self-sufficiency in energy, which is a mere 4% today. Wind and solar power are bound to expand in Japanese cities, and electrical vehicles interconnected to households are expected to be an important part of Japan's move to energy self-sufficiency. It's a new ecosystem called Home Energy Management System, or HEMS. So this is the energy hub in other words, Tenso's uh, LEV Pico Grid system which utilizes, take out the energy from LEVs to the home appliances like this. First of all, um, take these guns out like this and roll. Open the port and then now it connected and then plug in, turn the lights on, like this. Now the energy comes from vehicle to the home appliances like this. And the, at the, uh, the, the, just the earthquake, big earthquake in the March 11th, they wanted to use the lights and those uh, tablets or the smartphones. And that deadly need one can be turned on with the LEVs if you use our picograde system like this. And then it has a sufficient energy so it flows to the kitchen or EcoCute and others. And now HEMS controls the energy flow at home and then supply those energies to the kitchen or living and dinings and also store at the storage battery now. In that way, we efficiently utilize the energy at generation or buying the energy from the grid and then supply sufficiently to the home appliances.
uh, know what's going on at home. And in that way, they can, for example, switch off the air conditioner if it's excessive, or uh, they can just uh, select which one is the best for them. It utilizes the EcoCute, which uh, stores the energy as the hot water. And in that way, uh, if the storage battery is enough or full, then we can still store the energy as a hot water at the hot water tank. In that way, we can store more and we can effectively utilize it. What are the advantages? Since we utilize the PVs and not using the grid power, which is, which, uh, how can I say, generated from the fossil uh, oils, in that way, we can save the energy in total and utilize the eco-friendly powers for that. Self-sufficiency starts with powering devices that we use the most. A Japanese company has developed a fuel cell that generates electricity by producing hydrogen on the spot. This is achieved through a chemical reaction between calcium hydride sheets and water. With just a spoon of water, this fuel cell can generate enough energy to charge a smartphone and provide backup power in emergencies. This is uh, uh, making uh, uh, electric power about capacity about uh, 5 watt hours, good enough to full charge of the iPhone. The company Toshiba has created the concept of smart community that promotes the use of information technologies, renewable sources of energy, and integrated management. The idea is helping to create urban areas that strike a balance between the needs of preserving the environment and ensuring a comfortable living. The core of the smart community is the HEMS ecosystem, where appliances communicate with each other to optimize and save energy use without sacrificing high standards of living for homeowners. This includes any product or service that monitors, controls, or analyzes energy at home. A typical household will invest an average of $100 per month to have that intelligent system. The growth of these green technologies is rapid and is expected to double in the United States. The so-called Home Energy Management System, HEMS, is selling very good in the United States as more and more households are aware that these kind of products and services, not only are they good for the environment, but they can also get important savings in the electricity and gas bills. The company Sharp proposes the Smart Sweet Home concept. It's an intelligent apartment with virtually zero CO2 emissions that is equipped with high-tech and environmentally friendly appliances that interact with the house owner in a friendly and funny manner. With increasing awareness of environmental issues and concerns over the supply of electricity since the Fukushima disaster, energy saving measures for the home are becoming a pressing need in Japan. This is the concept uh, prototype design of the uh, new home appliance world, which uh, will connect all the home appliances at home to the network on the cloud, as well as uh, linking to the energy management system. So you can use uh, energy more efficiently at home, as well as um, having enjoyment of house chores. For example, air conditioner will tell you to uh, save um, the power so you, um, the temperature is not too cold um, so um, user will will be able to control the um, temperature of the air conditioner to save power also uh, it, it will be linked to the battery lit lithium battery so um, the some other home appliance will tell you uh, the lithium battery is full, so use the battery uh, first. Uh, these um, communication between house appliance and users will actually improve the home energy uh, management as a tool. And for the um, home, home management system, it will um, um, tell you how efficiently energy will be used but also it will bring enjoyment to the house chores. For example, um, fridge will tell you hello and how are you. 
and uh, these kind of fun, uh, bringing fun into uh, house chores will uh, make uh, home life more enjoyable. Japan is in the middle of a green revolution with solar panels becoming a recurring element on roofs and facades of both private residences and office buildings. Photovoltaic energy combined with new generation lithium ion batteries are making energy self-sufficiency a reachable goal. But Japan doesn't want to go back to the traditional pre-industrial society model for the sake of the environment. In a country with 128 million inhabitants with high urban mobility and where people are surrounded by many electronic devices, energy usage is very intensive. Japan is second in per capita energy consumption in the world after the United States. And that consumption is increasing now that economic recovery is underway after many years of deflation and exports are picking up thanks to the recent devaluation of the yen. But Japan is not the same after the Fukushima disaster. Government and society agree that nuclear power has to be phased out in a country prone to earthquakes. On the other hand, companies know that having a low carbon imprint is essential for their survival in the future. It's the opening of a new business frontier and a source of many jobs for the future. This awareness has set off an exponential growth of innovations that save energy and are good for the environment because necessity is the mother of invention. In today's Japan, more than anywhere else in the world, green technologies are becoming popular. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.